in residency, it's it's great to get out and go into different programs that have different populace of patients. If you just go in your residency and you only see a particular type of patient and you go out into the real world, you wouldn't know what another patient presents as. I've had in my practice a lot of people come in with psoriasis, eczema, and they can't tell what they have because they're African American. We have more pigmentation to our skin. Derm is the one specialty where you present based off of your presentation based off or differentiates based off of your skin tone. Instead of being a red inflammatory skin condition like atopic derm is in more white patients, we get more like purplish, brown or discolored or ashen gray lesions. So it looks different to people, like what is that? Some people have scratched so much they look like they have burns. But it's atopic derm. It's, just, it's still, you have to look and go, is it lichenified, meaning thick in skin? Is it in certain areas, atopic derm has a presentation? Is it over the eyelids? Is it on the cheeks as baby? Antecubital popliteal fossil. Um, those fissures in those locations are trademarked for atopic dermatitis. When you start to see that, you go, oh, you see Debbie Morgan lines in most people who have atopic derm because they're always trying to pretty much make their nose and they break the cartilage as a sign of seasonal allergies or seasonal rhinitis. The rubbing of the eyes when you're waking up all because of the itching of the seasonal allergies is another sign of atopic dermatitis. You have to stop saying, okay, is it eczema? No. You have to go further with the history.